Second intermission is always Saturday. It's 32 Thoughts presented by GMC and the new Sierra AT4X. Jeff Merrick, Elliott Friedman, the tweet of the week, mm. his worship, Mark Sutcliffe, the mayor of Ottawa. We hired a new receptionist today, didn't pan out, spent too much time taking selfies. Good mm. luck in your future endeavors. <laughs> so the question, Elliot, is what is the NHL going to have to pay Ryan to take the Ottawa Senators? <laughs> That's right. Instead of yeah, somebody paying right. $900 million, they're going to have to pay him. Yeah. But I think the, the, the one thing that has really become clear, Ron, is that I was, I've been talking to just some of the people around this, is that how do you not have him be in the group that's going to win. And, um, you know, the one thing is that he's with the Remington Group and they are a very competitive bidder. It's not like they're hundreds of millions of dollars away from where we all think this number is going to end up around. They're very competitive and they're very much in it. But it, I think some of the other big groups are kind of looking at it and saying, boy, like if we're even close to them, are we going to be able to beat them? And, you know, he, him and the Remington had the largest group that showed up at a game this week. They had about 20 people. And the other thing that apparently really has people interested is that Reynolds has given an idea of what his plan is, his marketing plan. It's kind of like Ottawa versus the world. And you know that that's going to work, right? So it's uh, like I can see these other groups really feeling that it's going to be a big challenge well, for Well, let's them just go with them. Remington, Elliot. you got a pretty good handle on that organization. Uh, it's a real estate play as yeah. much as it is purchasing the Sens. Of course, there's mm -hmm. a huge debt. Some estimate it could be $450 million debt. That would be paid off with the purchase price. Mm -hmm. But still, would Remington be the type to balk at either that or balk at the uh, land arrangements for the real estate play? Well, I, I think that a lot of the stuff this week, the saber rattling about land, is. I, I think a lot of people look at it as there's like just all the various parcels of land that could potentially be part of this, and I haven't signed an NDA that allows me to look at exactly <laughs> what's on the bid website, but there are some other p pieces of land that have come up privately in all these negotiations. Look, Remington, they had a chance a few years ago to buy the Arizona Coyotes. They walked away when they didn't like the real estate play. There. The fact that they're in this and still very much in this, it says to people that they're okay with the real estate play. Okay, so that's a good segue to Arizona. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, NHL uh, Global Series. From uh, domestic, we go international. And this year, we saw the NHL travel to Switzerland and Germany and Czech Republic and Finland for games. And although nothing official yet from the NHL, we know the league is going down under for games in Australia. And the question becomes, which teams will be involved? And again, nothing official coming out from the league, but it sounds very much like it's trending in the direction of and we expect it to be How's that for a qualifier? Good. Yeah, Is that pretty yeah, very good? NDA uh, coming. Yes, uh, the Los Angeles Kings and the Arizona Coyotes. Now, there was some talk about maybe including a team like the Boston Bruins, maybe the St. Louis Blues as well. They have Nathan Walker, who is Australian by birth as well, but it looks very much like, guys, it'll be the Kings and the Coyotes. Because we have Leon Dreisaitl later tonight and Tim Stutzler here in our game. And, uh, Wonder, yeah. Yeah, if those two teams are going to play in Germany next year, but there's been nothing you say uh, to report nothing on Nothing yet. That. Okay, the future of Derek Broussard and some others. Yeah, just a couple of players to keep an eye on here. First of all, Derek Broussard. This was a weird and unfortunate play the other night as Ottawa dominated Philadelphia on one of their goals. As Kyle mentioned earlier in the show, Broussard had surgery today to repair a broken fibula. He's out for the rest of the season. He just played his 1,000th game, and there are people wondering about, you know, what's he thinking about his future? And the one thing about Derek Broussard is he loves hockey, and what he's indicated is that he's going to take time. He's going to see how he recovers. He's He's going to talk with the Sanders, he's going to talk with his agent, and then he'll make his decision. But he's going to take a little bit of time, and nobody should assume anything about what he's going to decide. The other player I wanted to highlight is another player with Ottawa Connections, and that's Craig Anderson. Uh, Devin Levi had an unbelievable performance last night in beating the Rangers in his first game. Craig Anderson is day-to-day -day with an upper body injury. Well, Buffalo's last home game is their second-last game of the season. It's on the 13th, and the Ottawa Sanders are the opponents and that kind of has been circled for potentially an Anderson game. And I don't want to make any assumptions, but could that possibly be his last NHL appearance? And that would be a perfect fit. So I think that's on the radar. I think the only thing that could complicate that, guys, is if that's a meaningful game for Buffalo. The Sabres also in the race. I think if they, that one means something for them, it could complicate the situation. Okay, a couple of uh, notes to uh, wrap up here. Uh, Los Angeles Kings. 
uh, Michigan is in through to, to the Frozen Four with BU, Minnesota, and Quinnipiac as well. Um, if the Wolverine season ends on either Thursday or Saturday, it's going to be one or the other. Expect them to sign netminder Eric Portillo. He came over in a trade with the Buffalo Sabres around deadline. Here's an interesting one coming out of the BCHL. Um, the British Columbia Hockey League, which is uh, the country's top junior A loop, they're planning on leaving Hockey Canada and going on their own as early as next season. Now, the goal to this is to create this uh, this league of high-level, elite-level junior A players uh, from all over the country without having to pay for players to bring them in. If you go out on your own away from Hockey Canada, you have access to everybody. They're looking to create this elite-level loop for players that are looking to pursue a uh, hockey in college. Now, there's a vote in May on this proposal, but if they get their insurance done earlier, and I'm told it shouldn't be a problem, don't be surprised if that vote gets pushed up. And one thing I was told to watch out for as well, don't be surprised if this goes through, if teams from the Alberta Junior Loop join as well. And really quickly, Saginaw Spirit awarded the Memorial Cup for next season, and we all sat here almost exactly one year ago and talked about Michael Misa, who's a star with the Saginaw Spirit. And one of the reasons why they were, you know, given the Memorial Cup for next season, they checked a lot of boxes and a big one, they will have the team. And a big part of that is burgeoning superstar Michael Misa. All right. Tremendous, Jeff and Elliot. Uh, we'll get to Connor Bedard. You saw what he did last night. But yeah. first, uh, Skyler Brindamore. Last week, we had Rod on his dad, and he was talking about a big game against Ohio State. Uh, Quinnipiac won it. He had the game winning goal. He was plus two in a 4 1 win, as you mentioned. They're going to the final four. So, congratulations, Skyler. Brindamore, and now to Connor Bedard. I mean, you know, Look at Christmas this. time you were discussing whether he should be traded because no way that Regina is going to the playoffs. And of course, they are in the playoffs, and they just upset Saskatoon in Game One. Huge. Two goals by Connor, so just a tremendous performance. The message there for the Montreal fans, of course, is don't blow it. Keep losing this game to Carolina tonight. <laughs> and the son of a hurricane, Skyler, congrats. Your dad's doing a good job on that front. We'll continue our coverage on Hockey Night in Canada.